Hey guys, welcome back to Top Tipper Betting Tips. I trust you're having a fantastic evening and you're getting ready for the racing out at Turfentain. I'm going to have the postman tipping out at Turfentain, but just before we go on to that, I just want to say I hope you guys got onto Amarandi at 13 to 2, 6 and a half to 1, and um, Muzi uh, rode at start to finish, so it was a nice win for us there. Um, however, there was uh, some tough racing out at Scottsville on the day, but we've still managed to find that value. So that was great tipping from the kid, and I'm going to hand you over to the postman now that's going to be tipping an eight-race program out at Turfentine. So here's the postman. Good evening, good afternoon, or well, good morning, no matter where in the world you guys are. And again, another big warm welcome to the Top Tipper family. Before we get into the selections for Turfentine, our best bet arrived like a good thing should. Um, the value bet, unfortunately, was pushed so wide, it probably ran an extra two or three hundred meters. Um, and the exotics have been tough to come by. Going through the card for Turfentain, um, please, guys, bear in mind it is the inner track. There are eight races carded, competitive racing, and the first is your fit 12.15. The first race is a work rider's maiden plate over 1,600 meters. And we go through here, and the favorite is a really, really battling maiden. Um, it's had 20 runs, still a maiden. However, in this field, must be included in all exotics. Um, what we've done in the buy part, due to the fact that this is a work rider's race, I've put four horses in there. We saw some of the form reversals and some real hochos arrive um, last week, Thursday, when it was an entire day of work riders. Some horrendous results, so we're not going to take a chance with the bipod. My narrow first selection is horse number five, Broadway. Um, this is from the Robin Clarkson yard, um, drawn five out of six. As I said, 20 runs, still a maiden, but in this field... I certainly uh, wouldn't leave it out. I won't be punting it on the nose, but won't be leaving it out. For second, we've gone for the four. I'm a man. This is from the Tony uh, Peter Yard. Has had two runs in the province. Both of them were in yielding conditions. I'm certainly looking for an improved effort from this one. And again, I'm certainly going to throw this one in um, the bipod. For third, we have gone for horse number one. This is Williamson. Uh, nicely drawn at one from Stevie Moffat Yard. Um, jumped, was sort of very, very handy. Did not really kick on, but was sort of staying on um, in its last race. So, must throw this one in. And for fourth, we've gone for the three. This is Green Skepta um, from the Sean Terry Yard. First one out behind a decent sort, Maharani finished fourth, albeit a long way off. Last time out was not a bad effort, uh, finishing five lengths or just over five lengths behind smelting. Again, was sort of running on or finishing off. This is a third run after rest and taking bar pots. I'm certainly going to throw all four selections in. And we have gone five, four, one and three, but certainly not worth a punt on the nose. Second race on the card, you're for 12.50, first leg of our place accumulator. This is a graduation plate over 1,200 meters. And in race two, I think this is the best bet on the card. This is horse number one, Dave the King. Uh, Richard Faree gets the mount here for Mike de Kock. Decent effort last time out, um, even though it was drawn really, really wide, finishing second to Royal Aussie. Um, finished just under seven minutes behind Charles Dickens. Did have excuses on that occasion. The saddle did slip and finished the race off with respiratory noise. I really think that um, Dave the King is better than this lot. And I do think it's the best bet on the card. Guys, as you know, and those that have be, uh, been with us for a long time, I don't like to banker anything. I'd rather take something with it. Um, for smaller punters, I would bank uh, Dave the King and everything. For those that want to take a smaller percentage, I certainly would include our second selection. And that is horse number two, back in business. 
Samanga Kamala gets a mount here for Joey Somo. Uh, Samanga's got, I think, just under 30% win strike rate for the yard and a 60% play strike rate for the yard. This has had two runs, winning on both occasions. Um, and I do believe that this one, again, will uh, enjoy the step up in distance. Um, the additional 40 meters when I say step up in distance. And I really, really think that this one will go very, very close as well. Um, I do think that if you're having a puncher, take swingers, take exactors, one by two. For third, guys, we're thrown in horse number six. This is Southern Skies. King de Mella for Johan Jansa van Furen. Again, uh, one first time out really, really well. On its coconut by over seven lengths. And again, has decent, decent form. Um, I think this will jump. Um, will be up there. Um, always sets the pace. If I'm looking for a negative, and it's a slight negative, we're looking at a wide draw of seven in a seven horse field. I don't think that Southern Skies will have it all her own way. Um, trifectas, certainly a must. And swingers and exactors, I certainly would throw the six in as well. For fourth, guys, we've gone for the five, Mo Jav, Marke van Rensburg for the Farney Broncos yard. Again, last year efforts have uh, are decent efforts. This is a third run after arrest and certainly could make its presence felt. So race two, one, two, six, and five. I do think one is the best bet on the card. And smaller punters, banker that in all exotics. We'll move on to the third race on the card. This is you off at 13.25, another graduation plate, this time over 1,500 meters. And in this event, I think this is quite a difficult race. Uh, my narrow first selection is horse number one, Laguna Verde, Craig Zaki for the Huda Larkis Yard, drawn five of, uh, out of eight. Last time out was not disgraced in a grade one, finishing seven lengths behind Anfield's Rocket. Um, I do think that the drop back in distance will suit this one down to the ground and again is a must in all exotics. For second, we have thrown in horse number seven. This is Raffles Muzieni for Roy Magna. Again, this has some decent form. Um, I do think the 1500 would suit better than the last run. Please take, in, uh, take into account that the last run was in a feature race, but when we go and look at some of the runs over slightly further, it's certainly very uh, very consistent. And I think Raffles, again, should be there when the whips are cracking. For third, we have gone for horse number four. This is Tipsy Terrigan, Dennis Swaz for Tony Peter. We know how well Dennis is riding for the yard. And um, again, the drop in distance back to the 1500 meters, I think will suit this one down to the ground. And again, I certainly think, again, um, if you're taking pick sixes, this is an inclusion in all exotics. For fourth, we've gone for the eight. Mrs. Browning. <clears throat> this is Keegan DeMella for the Terry Yard. Two decent efforts. Last time out, just over five lengths to Feather Boa. I do think that Mrs. Browning will be in need of the run coming back from a 28-week layoff. Um, does have a handy galloping mass, but as I said, I think that... Um, Sean is preparing this for something else. So race three, one, seven, four, and eight. Pick sixes, I would go one, four, and seven. We move on to the fourth race on the card. This is the first leg of the first jackpot. Due off at 1,400 hours, mid rate of 97, over 1,800 meters. And in this event here, my first selection is horse number two, Supreme Dance. This is Samanga Kamala for Brett Warren. Um, don't panic when you see Gavin Arena not riding. He is on a forced holiday. Um, I really believe that Supreme Dance will go close with Samanga board. And we are going to look at taking Samanga in the fourth, fifth and sixth race. Take a couple all to comes and see what happens there, couple doubles. For second, I have gone for horse number six, Little Mary Sunshine, Richard Furry for Mike DeCock. 
Um, last some outs, I think, was blatantly too far. I do think that's reverting back to the 1,800 meters. Um, will suit this one down to the ground. And again, Richard Faree in the saddle. We cannot leave this one out of any permutation. For third, we have gone for horse number four. This is Willow's Wish. Keegan Amela for the Terriard. Did beat Supreme Dance last time out. However, Supreme Dance is better off um, the weights. And I think that Supreme Dance will turn the tables. But I certainly wouldn't be leaving Willow's Wish out, especially with Keegan de Mello aboard. For fourth, we've gone for the one. This is Van der Belt. This is Apprentice Kajedi for Tony Peter. He will be claiming his one and a half, which would certainly aid um, with this hefty mass. But I do think that the handicap has got to this one. I'm waiting for this one to start dropping more in the handicap. So, as I said, in race four, two, six, four, and one. Uh, pick six is for me, two, four, and six. Move on to the fifth race on the card. This is the first leg of Jackpot 2. Due off at 14.35. Another merit rate at 79 handicap. And again, over 1,800 meters. Um, in this event, as I said, we're going to take Samanga Kamalo again for Fabian Habib. Um, Samanga has, I think, a 20% win strike rate for the yard. Um, Masts of Arts, I'm certainly going to just throw a line through that. Um, went to the front, faded, but I think Samanga is a lot stronger than that. And I think certainly will give a decent account of itself. For second, guys... <coughs> I have gone for horse number two. This is African Torrent, King in Demela for the Mark and Adam Aziyard. Um, the reason I've put this one second is that Samanga has ridden this one on the last two occasions. He's jumped aboard, uh, jumped off to go onto the one. Um, that's why the alarm bells rang there, and I'll be throwing both of them in all exotics. So we've gone for the two to run second. For third, we've gone six, Island Beauty, Cabela Mazziani for the Crawford Yard. Um, last two efforts were decent, considering this one was drawn really, really wide. I do think that with the um, decent draw of two, I think Cabela will jump. I think it'll be right up there, especially with his handy galloping mass. And again, um, larger perms, throw this one in, must be included in all exotics. For fourth, gone for five, Romeo's Magic, Craig Zaki for the Brett Warren Yard. Again, won a decent race last time out under the hands of Gavin Arena and Wet Going. And I certainly think that this one is good enough for back end of trifectas and quartets. So race five, one, two, six, and five. Six race on the card. This is due off at 15.10. A merry rate of 80 handicap over 1600 meters and the sixth race we've gone for horse number two bloomington uh, again samanga kamala for fabian habib if he has a good day so do we um, two decent efforts um, i really believe that bloomington uh, runs well at this course nine runs four wins um and I really think that Bloomington will go very, very, very close. I think currently around about two to one. Um, and as I said, we can throw this one in a couple swingers. Uh, my apologies, a couple doubles. For second, I've gone for a nice Rafia. This is the three castle corner for the Sunday Tolly for the Stewie Pedigree Yard. Unfortunately, it hasn't won on the course. Has had eight runs for three seconds and a third. Uh, this is a second run after rest, and I'm looking for a decent improved effort from uh, this castle corner. I really think that at decent odds around about 10 or 12 to one, this one can make its presence felt. For third, we throw in horse number five, and this is future wolf, Muzigeni for the Farney Broncos yard. Won a decent race last time out, beating Royal Mazarin. Um, I think this will jump. I think this will sit handy. I think the course will suit. And again, I think um, good enough for back end of trifectas and quartets. For fourth, we've gone for the eight Angel of War, Richie Faree for the uh, Pauline Matchett Yard. 
um, decent effort last time out behind Mescal was running on and again um, in quite an open race maybe throw the 18 as well if you're taking jackpots and pick sixes so race six two three five and eight and as I said really hoping for some manga to deliver for us move on to the seventh race on the card this is you off at 1545 this is a classified stakes over a thousand meters the seventh race, our first selection here is horse number three, Trey Amishi. Samanga Kamalo again for Robbie Sage. Um, decent effort last time out behind Smith and Wesson. Um, very, very speedy sort. I really think that, again, the course will suit this one down to the ground. And if Samanga's in a winning mood, will be very hard to peg back. For second, we've gone for the obvious one. Yeah, I think this is horse two, Axel Collins. Then it was for Tony Peter. This did finish fourth behind Smith and Wesson last time out. Did have excuses, was switched around about 200 out. And again, two decent efforts since joining Tony Peter's yard. For third, we've gone for the eight. Beaded gun, Richard Furry for the Decock yard. Um, decent effort last time out behind... Uh, convocation and again with Richard aboard must be included big negative drawn very very wide for fourth we've gone for the 11 this is Mercer girl Nathan Klink for the Stidolf yard and Nathan rode this one last time out um, winning a decent race again very speedy sort with 52 I do believe he'll be up there play catch me if you can if he skips at the right time maybe very hard to peg back so race 7, 3, 2, 8, and 11. we we'll move on to the lucky last. This is race 8, due off at 16, 20. Another classified stakes, and again over 1,000 meters. In this event, we find my value bet of the day, and this is horse number 3. Uh, this is Virginia Beach. Um, three decent efforts. Um, ran in a listed event last time out certainly not running um, anything like that today and I really think that round about five to one really really decent uh, value I know it is taking on older horses but with Tony Peter and Dennis Soares anything possible and I think at a, at a decent price I think this one will go pretty close for second I've gone for horse number two Letitia's Angel Ryan Munger for the Fortune Yard Letitia's Angel loves the course, um, has been running really, really well, nicely drawn at one, and again, if you're taking exotics, you need to throw this one in. For third, we've gone for the seven, this is Pendragon, Marco van Rensburg for the Broncos yard, decent uh, winner last time out, what slow on that occasion, and finished hand over fist under the uh, urgings of Gavin Arena. I do think, again, if you're taking exotics, throw Pendragon in, Throw this one in swingers, trifectas, quartets, and exactors. For fourth, gone for the sixth. This is Nettleton. King de Miller for the Van Furen yard. One first on art. Very, very speedy sort. Um, big negative for me here is the draw. Um, that's why I've thrown this one to run fourth. So race eight, three, two, seven, six. I do think that the three is... Uh, decent value as I said run about five to one um, but we are certainly hoping that Samanga Kamala comes to the party for us and rides everybody to sleep um, guys please don't forget check for jockey changes check scratchings check for betting changes um, first race difficult I wouldn't take a chance even um, with the favorite roundabout 22 to 10 as I said 20 runs to the maiden we cannot do anything there smaller punters banker the the, the one in the second leg uh, of the bar pot um, throw what you fancy in and let's see if we can strike it rich guys take it easy look after yourself Stevie back to you guys in the studio thanks for that the postman I see you've tipped to eight race program your bar pot your PA your best bet, Dave the King, um, at even money, and your value bet, Virginia Beach, at five to one. 
So uh, your bar pot, your pier, your jackpot one and jackpot two. Please, Lord, let them arrive and let make the punters some nice, tidy profit. Guys, enjoy your racing out at Turfentain. Have fun, break a leg, and cheers for now.